Hey guys, welcome. My name is Lindsay. If you're new here, welcome. Happy to have you. Uh, today I have a video for you that is going to be, well, let's just say that I'm going to be simultaneously yelling at myself as I kind of symbolically yell at you and we're going to get right into it. So here we go. All right, let's be straightforward right from the get-go. So people who have an intuitive dominant function, whether that be NI or NE, are particularly good at seeing the writing on the wall, as some may say. Now, NI saviors in particular, that's the INTJs and the INFJs, are exceptionally good at being able to recognize patterns and being able to see the relationships between various patterns and how those work together in the world. It's what gives us the whole ESP stereotype that I try to avoid. <laughs> now, let's talk about how intuitive types, like myself, leverage this NI function particularly poorly often. So, we are really good at seeing the writing on the wall and then doing absolutely nothing about it. Oftentimes, what we will do is recognize a pattern and then defer the responsibility of dealing with the sensory to somebody else. So what does this look like? Well, it looks like telling someone something that's probably gonna happen or a pattern that you're clearly seeing and then expecting them to actually do something about it. The sensory to us, it's just too uncomfortable. We'll be like in our heads, geez, I just did all the hard work that I'm naturally good at recognizing this pattern for you and I gave it to you and now you should just go and do something with it. That's, that's how we think. So why is this not enough? Why should we actually strive to respect the sensory to an extent where we can actually move according to our own intuition? Why is it not enough for you simply to just say something? The answer is because you are the only one that can see your own NI. You are the only one that sees your introverted intuition the way that you see it. This is your function. And if you can see a pattern and if you can see something that's actually serious enough to address, then it is your responsibility to act on it in the sensory because nobody else, and I repeat, nobody else can see that pattern the same way that you can see it. In my last video, I talked about how I never say I told you so, because if I did, it would just be so repetitive and it would end up being so obnoxious and superfluous that it would just be horrible for anyone who is in my life, so I just don't say it. People oftentimes won't listen to our NI wisdom simply because they can't see it themselves. And do you know what? We should expect that at this point. That is a pattern unto itself. Their strengths are in other areas and they simply can't see or necessarily respect the pattern the same way that we can see and respect that. So what is my call to action for you today? If you can see something in your NI vision that could turn out poorly or that could possibly harm someone, it is your responsibility to move and work it out and make an actual physical change in the sensory world. Don't just say something do something and absolutely don't expect someone else to do it for you. Yes, I know the sensory is weird and uncomfortable a lot of the time for us who live in our heads, but do you know what? Uh, all four of your functions are your responsibility, including the ones that you suck at. INTJs and INFJs, sorry guys, but we suck at SE, we suck at the sensory world. Um, but do you know what, that's okay. That gives us room to grow and growth is good. And there is time and space available for us to do that. So let's get freaking moving. Um, if you don't think that you have room to grow, chances are you're worse off than the rest of us. So best of luck on that. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.